Hello, folks. What's up? This is the officially unofficial geek channel. Get the what? outfit. And wait, I haven't gotten to that part yet. And me. <laughs> yes, this is the officially unofficial geek channel. This is the What's Happening Wednesday, which is basically just Joe, Bizarro Fett, and Carrie talk about something they did in the last week. And sometimes news, sometimes information. It's a it's, show about anything and everything. You gotta just yeah. tune in every week and be like, who knows what, what the fuck they're talking about? Maybe it's Pretty Woman. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> it's not Pretty Woman because it's not streaming on anything. It's not That's Pretty a Woman. We can't find Pretty Woman streaming on every, anything, so that that's that's a problem. You, you will not have us in the immediate future talking about Pretty Woman because it's not streaming anywhere. Um, but yeah, um, so we are. Um, it's, it, it, you know, basically, we talk about anything that has a pop culture twist to it, and one of the things. That is definitely a thing in pop culture is genres, labels, and put a label on it. Put a label on it. Gotta classify it. Gotta categorize it. Gotta do what, 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 whatever. You know, like what is this? How is this? What does it sound like? What does it look like? Everything has a genre or a label. Doesn't it, Joe? I suppose it do. Now, what happens is people often get kind of, uh, they, they allow themselves to get pigeonholed into just a few select genres, labels, categories. And um, they get really surprised when when it's, uh, they, they, they find themselves getting, you know, finding things that are appealing, that are outside their typical likes. So, Joe, what kind of movie genres do you typically watch? I usually watch horror. A lot of horror and a lot of sci-fi. A lot of mm -hmm. Robocops. A lot of action. A lot of action. Lots of blood and guts and guns and all that kind of stuff. Aliens. Yeah, aliens for sure. Things blowing up. Yep. You are a fan of the Fast and the Furious movies. I am. <laughs> I don't care. Oh my god, I may have just given <laughs> you an idea. Um, so here's here's the thing. Next, we're doing a little bit of a, a, a series here. We're going to be like... Those are dumb fun, though. Those are... They're not like... I know that they're not like high cinema or anything like no, that. No, no, no. no, no it, it, it doesn't... We're not... That's a label. That's a label. We just like what we like. I, I think I think you know the, everybody has their viewpoint on exactly how they decide what they like, and ever and, and but most people fit into and and find comfort spots within you know these labels and genres. See, I think I like quite a few genres anyway. I mean, I got horror, I got action, I got freaking sci-fi. I love westerns. Yes, you do love westerns. So, I mean, like, I, I fit into a few. It's not usually the teen romantic comedy stuff that I don't dig. Um, so, but what is, what is Carrie like? Carrie... Teen romantic comedy and stuff like that. I like coming-of-age comedies. That's what they're called. Holy shit. It is a guilty pleasure of mine. Here I am admitting it. I, I mean, at least I'm going to be admitting it to the world. Um, I like coming-of-age dramas, comedies, rom-coms. But I also like science fiction. I also like some horror. Not not nearly as much as Joe does. I will admit that. I do love uh, a little bit of... Uh, uh, um, a little bit of... Um, science fiction. Definitely, I'm a Star Wars girl. I'm a Doctor Who girl. So definitely covering the science fiction fantasy portion. But... One that definitely differs between the two of us are romantic comedies, dramedies, dramas, coming of age, drama, comedies, 
uh, unless you're talking about something like the Brat Pack, where it's like the Breakfast Club, or, or yeah, like this. Yeah, Pretty in Pink. You know, the, even that I don't think it's that great. Sometimes, like, I don't think Pretty in Pink is that great of a movie. There, I fucking said it. You know what? It's not that great of a movie. Ferris Bueller trumps that shit. Ew. Um, I like Ferris Bueller. Bueller and everything, but come on. Yep, it does. I'm sorry, it does. It trumps it. Pretty in Pink is just kind of meh. What about Sixteen Candles, though? Also meh. Uh, we are drawing some lines here, folks. We are drawing some lines in the sand. You know what? In the, so, in the in so the in the in the wooden-looking, wooden-like linoleum that covers it's our floor. It's so that I can't even keep the two straight. Wow, you do. No, nah. no, nah, come I, on. I'm, I'm serious. I can't keep the two straight. I'm being honest to God serious. Like maybe I need to watch them again. Maybe I like them more than I think I do. But I don't think they're all that. But the thing is, is you know, every once in a while we go outside our genres and 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 surprise the hell out of each other. I think, like, Joe's got me watching iCarly. <laughs> like. Hey. Yeah, that's way outside my genre usually, but I like that stuff. <laughs> he likes iCarly, guys. He's the one that got me into watching iCarly. But here's the thing. This is what this is what we're this little project we're doing. But I, I came up with the little project today, actually. Well, I mean, we, it originally started out of I was gonna pick the most horribly offensive movie to Joe's sensitivities and get him to watch it and see if he liked it. That's what the idea originally was. And that's what we're going to kind of talk to you guys about tonight. Um, I, I had Joe watch a movie that was just, based on the trailer alone, just so attacked his senses. That it looked so sucky. It looked so sucky. It looked so sucky to him that, that we went for it. Now, here's the thing. Uh, and we'll get to that in a moment. But I want to kind of talk to you guys about kind of what the, the little project that we're doing here um, about genre blasting. See, the thing is, is I got him to watch this the other day and it had me thinking, it made me remember a circumstance like when I was in college involving music where like I had a college roommate that absolutely, and this was back in like the year 2000, right? So like new metal, like corn and Limp Bizkit. See, I was listening to a lot of corn, Limp Bizkit, and, and punk. Yeah. God, I would have made fun of you so fucking bad. I, until we started talking about punk. No. Because then, because I would have been like, I also love the Vandals. I also love Social Distortion. I still would have made fun of you. Yeah, but you would have oh, been like, okay, so you're okay because of the Social Distortion. No, but, you wouldn't have been okay. Yeah. But now you're you like, you but now you, now you, you shaved pretend, it. You can pretend that I would have been okay with it, but I You know what, I'm going to pretend. I'm going to pretend because, because the moment I was able to recite all the lyrics, you know, lyrics that I could from, uh, from the class, you would have been like, you know what, maybe I can deal with the fact that she likes corn. But you like corn. Yeah, I do now. I didn't yeah. let I hated that shit then. I hated fucking Limp Bizkit. I hated all that shit back then. And now you've, I you was know, a judgmental asshole too. So, I mean, like, that. And now you've shaved... A mustache. Yeah, that's new news. That's news here. For breaking story. Yesterday, he comes out of the bathroom, and he has shaved into a Hulk Hogan mustache. Handlebar mustache, and it's rocking. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Handlebar mustache, brother. <laughs> um, yeah. So breaking news. Joe has a mustache. It, you know, the thing is, is he rarely posts pictures of himself to social media. I am the one that usually posts pictures of him to social media. And even then, it does not happen very often. And, and up until yesterday afternoon, he was rocking a very nice beard. Full, bushy beard and long hair. And now, he has a mustache. Yeah. Handlebar, Hulk Hogan style mustache, brother. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I look at it. I I, I hate it. I, I the, he knows I hate it, but it makes him so happy. He he was beaming with joy. 
coming out of the bathroom. He loves it. So I, I, you know, I love it and I love him. So <laughs> he loves it and I love him, even though I don't like mustaches. But anyways, that's off subject. But breaking news, Joe let's has a mustache. Anyways, let's get back to the, the subject at hand. So I, I had a college roommate liked only hip-hop and was like no I'll never listen to that metal stuff and then one day I was playing metal music and she didn't know what it was and it was I, I if I remember correctly I might be I might be wrong I, I think I was playing uh, all in the family from Korn's follow the leader which is basically you know Fred Durst and and Jonathan Davis um, going back and forth, hurling insults at each other. Um, it's, yeah, if you've never heard it, check it out. Corn, All in the Families, from the album Follow the Leader. She was like, what's this? I kind of like this. And I was like, oh, do you? Because it's metal. It's corn. You know, the stuff that you said you would never listen to, and it's like, and it opened her eyes, and it was like, she she had to accept and she started listening to a lot more different things and i you know this little excursion that we went on a couple days ago made me think of that and i told you about that earlier and so it's not just going to be you know us trying to trip joe up joe is actually going to try to present me as well next week with a movie that uh, he thinks I'm gonna hate. Commando. <laughs> Are we talking about the the Commando, like Urban Commando one, like the oh. the Hulk Hogan? No, but that is a great movie. We could do that. I watched yeah. that. Yeah. Because that movie's no. awesome. Okay, so that's that's the whole point. Coming soon, we're gonna be talking about a Hulk Hogan movie. Talk, no, I'm talking Commando, <laughs> starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Which is an amazing movie. Yeah, I, nah, nah. I'm surprised you haven't thought up in the last five minutes to make me watch Fast and the Furious. You know what? You can do that. I'll watch that, especially the first one. Dope movie. God, I think I'm gonna hate it. I think I think they're so annoying. They're so annoying looking. But maybe maybe that's what. Look, man, it's about family. It's about family. It's a family movie. Okay, so coming soon. <laughs> we watch all nine, no, ten, because we have to do Hobbs and Shaw freaking Fast and Furious movies. We watch all of them. How about we start with one? Okay. And, but anyways, okay, so next week, we're going to change this up a little bit. I'm going to pick another movie for Joe. Joe is going to pick one for me. We're going to talk about both of them. But, um... Trying to bust some genres and labels. Genre hatred. Which we did. Twice this week. now. Twice now with Joe. Yeah. So Pretty Woman. Liked it. Told us how it was dope. You mean you mean Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing, my bad. Yeah. I don't know about Pretty Woman yet. Yeah. He doesn't know about Pretty Woman yet. And it'll take a while, because apparently it's not streaming anywhere. That is a shame. We, we, we searched on, uh, you know what, I should really do a Google search to see if it's streaming anywhere. Like, that maybe it's just not showing up in, in the search uh, on, our, on our TV. So, like, if we can find it, he might end up watching. Uh, you know what, the thing is, is what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find films that he's never watched all the way through at least once. Like, yeah, I've never seen it all beginning to end. And, and I guess Pretty Woman is one of those. Um, I tried to throw Steel Magnolias at him earlier, but apparently he has. I have. I've seen it. It's sad. He has watched the full Steel Magnolias, and and he's he's surprised the he was he he hates it because I hate it because it's so sad. It made me cry like real people tears. Yeah. Yeah. It is a sad movie. It really is. But Dolly Parton's in it, so I thought I was gonna reel him in with Dolly Parton. That might make noise when you go into something. I don't know. Oh, okay. 
still doing it. I can do two things at once. He's searching on the TV for, for, for something. He's getting ideas here. Um, so, oh, is it maybe on here? Yep, it is. Holy shnikes, guys. Pretty Woman is on Hulu. Pretty Woman is on Hulu. Breaking news. Pretty Woman is on Hulu. Right, let's, hashtag, get to, let's, get, let's get to the point of hand, man. We've been doing this a long hashtag, time. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag, hashtag we've been, we've been blabbing long enough. Let's, let's, let's get to it. Yeah, let's just get to it now. Let's get to it. Okay. So the other day, I gave the... I, I, I the other day, the you were in college. And college people liked corn. Nobody liked corn and hip-hop happened. And everybody decided that social distortion was a thing. Would you like to go ahead? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's go. Um, so we we watched a Disney movie. It was a Disney movie, and I, besides Star Wars, am not a Disney dude. Well, and 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 some Marvel. Things. Some more Marvel. Yeah, and, and I, I I I'm pretty fond of that first uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movie. It's pretty fun. Yeah. All right, so I like some. Some Disney stuff. But not your it, it, the adventure Disney type stuff. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really into like a lot of... The like, action yeah. type Disney stuff. I honestly didn't know that they had like a section for like the kind of movie we watched. To be honest, in Disney, I didn't know. But I guess they do make that music. But what's that musical thing? Uh, high School Musical. Make, high School Musical. So yeah, I guess... They have several like High School Musical mm -hmm. things. It's, it's crazy. Um, but... We watched uh, a movie, I believe it's from 2011. Yes. Um, it is called, it's Disney's Prom. Prom. Now that really sounds like a movie that I would hate, despise. But you know what? But you know what? He saw the trailer and he's like, that looks like the biggest piece of crap. Only I said shit. Yeah, shit. He said shit. The biggest piece of shit. That I've ever laid hand eyes on, and so like I gave him three possibilities, okay? So it's Virgin Suicides, Perks, which, okay. which looked okay to him. Uh, the Perks of Being a Wallflower, which looked okay to you. Yeah, and what about Elizabeth Town? Because that looked okay to me too. I think that was another one that you gave me. But you've never about. seen it, and I think you're gonna hate it. Elizabeth Town? Yeah. So that, 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 uh, that, uh, that, that's still an option. But anyway, prom. Prom. Disney's prom. So. It was a totally stereotypical movie. Everything happened as it should. It was like almost a paint by numbers movie. And I kind of liked it. What, what was it about it that, that you, th okay, so like, let's talk about some of the people that are in this. Oh, there was Cal Kestis from. <laughs> right away, guys. Right away. He's just like, as soon as he sees this kid, it's like one of the younger, like, sophomore, dorky kids that, like, like the music geek. He's like, wait, hold on a second. Is that Cal Custis? Cal Custis. The Star Wars game. Yeah. Cameron Monaghan, guys. That's his name. I can't. Yeah. He was in this. He's in this movie. He's in this movie. Who 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 else did we see? We saw. Um, I have no idea what names. God no, we we don't know. There's, we don't know. There's geeky kid, geeky girl, and then uh, freaky girl with the piercings. Uh, yes. The guy down on his luck that can't get anyone to go to the prom. Oh my now. god, which I liked. That guy was. That fun. guy was fun. Yeah, yeah. So we have the reason why I think. Joe typically likes movies where you have the smart good girl and you have the bad boy interacting. Okay. Well, the bad boy needs to be misunderstood. Like, yeah, you know, that's how they always are. They gotta be misunderstood. He's doing it for this reason, and everybody's like, "Oh, he's such a bad kid." Yeah. And you know what? That makes him lash out. Yeah, because nobody understands it. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, nobody understands taking care of your little brother. Yeah. Okay, so. Prom sounds exactly the way it seems. It is exactly the way it seems. It is. It's a paint-by-numbers movie that was just like, 
enjoyable, really. Yeah. It was, you did not have to think too hard while watching this movie. Um, and I like it. It was it's, like watching a, a, a younger person, a younger version of something like American Pie. With less raunch, yeah, less with raunchy. Less, that's what I mean, like a younger person. Like, like, yeah. Like, like the, nobody's fucking a pie. Yeah, I, there's no pie fucking, nothing like that. No, no pie fucking, no MILF. No, you know, mother having sex with the 18-year-old boy. No. No MILF. But I mean, like, I wouldn't say it because the trouble got kids. Mom is kind of milky, the one from 90210. <laughs> okay, so, um... But then you also have, you have, uh, God, what's her name? I think it's, uh, the actress's name is Faith Ford, who was, uh, the, the, the mother of the, the good girl of Nova. Oh, yeah. 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 She's also pretty, too. Yeah, so let's see, there's MILFs. There's MILFs, but no one actively going after a MILF. Oh, okay, I get you. Yeah, so nobody's pie-fucking, nobody's, you know... Putting somebody's, you know, like naked boobs on the internet. No, none of that. Okay. It's good. It's good intention fun. Good intention. You know, nobody's getting naked fun. And um, so you have Nova, who is the good girl, like the overachiever good girl that is really just going, into going prom. To college. Next She's fall. going to fucking Georgetown. She's going, and she is really into the idea of the prom because she has this utopian idea attached to the idea of prom. She's got very misguided ideas, which is fun. She's 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 a um, an optimist. Yes, I would think, um, and she has this committee. They do this prom stuff. <laughs> they get everything ready, and. Um, the shit burns down. All down. Burns down. Because, you know, people suck. Especially that guy. Yeah, so it all burns down because some guy decided to use the shed for, that, a, date. for, a, for a date with a lot of candles and he didn't put one out. So obviously all hell breaks loose and fire, 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 you know, and, and, and so everything burns down. And everyone's like, man, I can't help you rebuild all this shit again, right? So then let's put a pin in that. We're going to go back and we're going to talk about Jesse Richter. The, the the misunderstood bad guy. Let's talk about him. All he does is pick up his brother. He has to skip a class, pick up his brother. On one day. Yes, on one day. Yeah, one day each week. He skips his last period so he can be there on time to pick up his brother. So his brother's not left waiting for him. So, but nobody knows that. Everybody thinks he's just, you know, skipping class. You know, if his mom would just tell the school that. Like, what's up with that? Like, it is. But we have to find some way for him to be misunderstood besides the fact that he rides his motorcycle onto school grounds. Yeah, like, badass. He's like, I'm a badass. Yeah. He has a motorcycle. And, uh, so you... Bad, you stereotypical badass. <laughs> yeah, so you, you're... you're you're checking off the boxes, misunderstood teen, long hair, untraditional good looks, has a motorcycle. He doesn't have a cool scandal mustache, but whatever. No, but he's got like long hair. Yeah. Right? And he wears a leather jacket. And, you know, he's walking around like, you know, making smart ass comments about how people find this shit important and he's like not into it. So he gets in trouble, and in order to graduate, like his mother is so excited that he's going to do, he has to help Nova rebuild, rebuild all, all this shit for prom. Rebuild it all. Yeah. So there's this whole dynamic that like I've never heard of involving this school, involving the goddamn prom. People act like they're fucking like proposing marriage these big grand gestures will you go to the prom with me is on the same level as will you fucking marry me you have my babies yeah and so people go on these like huge grand gestures will you go to the prom with me these big stunts 
uh, you know, and and it's really weird. I will say that that is weird. Yeah, no, I don't remember that shit from high school, but I don't remember high school that much, so I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> but like you have the the um, all the different kinds of ways that people are doing this, and that's where. Um, that's where, uh, uh, God, what was his name? Was it Lloyd? I think it's Lloyd. Yeah, I think so. Lloyd comes in. Lloyd For the record, is... folks, I didn't go to my prom, so I don't know how. He's, he's, he's a, he's a, an adorable geek. Kind of, kind of, you know, in, you know, outsider, but still, you know, friends with everyone kind of person. Yeah. Um, and he, uh finds himself without a date for the prom and he starts asking whoever he can think of but it all ends up going wrong he, he every time something wrong happens like he picks the wrong car to put the post-it notes on he, <laughs> <laughs> um, he he thinks oh I'll do this cute little like I'll cut out the letters from a magazine <laughs> and make a sign uh, will you go to the prom with me? I've been watching you. And it looks like a fucking serial killer. Fucking, like, with the fucking letters cut out for the magazine. And, and like, everything goes wrong. And finally he's like, he has his stepsister kind of like, yeah. you know, guiding him. The, the, and uh, so eventually he's just like, screw it. Um, he takes his stepsister so she can go have fun at the prom. And long story short about Lloyd, he ends up, you know, kind of starting something during the prom with the... With the freaky girl. With the, 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 the pierced and, and uh, goth girl. Yeah. Yeah. Because she thinks it's really cool that, that he brought his sister to prom. And so that's good. You know, Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd is, you know, it, it's... It's throughout the movie, and it's this fun little, like, okay, what's Lloyd going to try now? You my, know? my favorite was the stoner kind of kid that kept saying that he had a girlfriend from Canada. Oh, my God. Let's talk about girl. Rolo. <laughs> Rolo, the, the guy that looks like he is definitely... They didn't actually have him, like... They didn't show him stone, but you know that this kid is stone all the time. You the, 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 the choices in direction and acting obviously lended itself to that yes. because... He definitely looks stone all the time. He's constantly eating Rolos and talking about eating Rolos on social media. Um, and so this one girl that's friends with Nova is asking Rolo about his prom plans. And Rolo... I think she really wanted to go with him. I, you know, I don't know. That's like what, that's, that's the impression that, I got. That, there was an impression that, that that possibly could have been the case. But... Um, no, Rolo um, said, I have a girlfriend, she lives in Canada, and she can't use social media because she, can't use social media she was caught clubbing out late and got, got uh, 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 grounded, had her, had her social media page taken away because she was grounded, because she was clubbing. She lives in Canada, and she can rock. A, a dress that the uh, the girl that was asking about it thinks that the only person that can do that is like a Victoria's Secret model, and he's like, "Well, that's what she's wearing," and it's like a piece of paper, a piece of a magazine that he's uh, that was torn out, and and he's like, "And she sent it to me because she doesn't have social media right now," <laughs> and and so then. You're thinking like, oh my god, this guy is totally not gonna have a date. He's totally not gonna show up with a date. And, uh, so then, at, by the end of the movie, in walks the girl with Rolo. And it's yeah, like this beautiful wanted. girl, Athena. That's she's, she's Greek-Canadian. There's a very vibrant Greek culture in Canada. <laughs> Vibrant. That's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so you have you have Jesse and Nova working on the prom together. Oh, you have the the other side story <coughs> of you have two more side stories. You have the one where the girl gets into the design school and she's afraid to tell her boyfriend. Yeah. That was not much. 
yeah. really, you know, like, okay, just, you know, whatever. Yeah, you're, you're, je- 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 you're 17, deal with it. Um, then you have the younger kids involving that whole, like, the girl that's kind of getting, you know, like, like, she's getting, you know, the wool pulled over her eyes involving the older student. Yeah. The older student, you know, was going to go with his actual girlfriend. Then she found out about the one girl. And then the girl was like, okay, I'll go to prom with you. Okay, finally, you're free, you know. And then he's like, oh, no, I'm a, you know, a dickhead anyways. And the, the kid that, that actually liked her, that's a good kid. Was friend with Cal Kestis. Was friends with Cal Kestis. Um, and he ends up getting the girl in the end, which is which was nice. You know what, no. Because, I mean, hear me out here. She just wanted that other dude so much, right? And she's like, didn't even really like this little kid, like, at, at all. And she kind of, uh, she's like, man, uh, I don't, I feel for that kid. Really? She, he got his Jimi Hendrix moment. Yeah, fuck that. She, she, left, but, she left the prom. She left the prom and she showed up and she was outside waiting for him. Fuck that girl. Fuck that her. was, I don't know. We fuck, have, we have varying opinions about that. Fuck her. Um, she doesn't deserve him. She doesn't deserve him? No. He was a good kid. Yeah. Um, but, okay, so we, we took care of all the side plots. Okay, so let's, let's talk about Jesse and Nova. They start to get to like each other. That's They're working together. She actually, like, he opens up and tells her why he seems the way he is. Mm-hmm. She, you know, hangs out with him. He goes, like, not only does he work on the project with her, but she takes some dress shopping. Yeah. And, you know, he starts to have feelings for her. She starts to have feelings for him. But she has a dickhead dad. But she has a dickhead dad. And when they... He helped her break into another high school. Which was her idea. Which was her idea. Not his. Not his. And, um... They get in trouble. They they don't really get in trouble. Like, she thinks she's in trouble. But she's not really. The father decides he's going to throw his weight around. And you know, be all pissy. And then, you think it's over with, then the father, her father, hears her gushing about Jesse. And he decides he's going to tell Jesse to stay away. Even though Jesse is is actually a really nice guy and a really good guy. Um, And so, he does the, he white fangs her. You know, okay, so the guys, if you don't know what white feigning is, it is a term that I learned about from the show New Girl, um, where you basically, when you, when, when, you, 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 you you make, make comments or say things that just are like really bad and you're just like, because you want them to leave you alone because you're not good for that. But you don't mean it. You don't actually mean it. Right? That's the whole point of it. You don't mean it, but you feel like you're not good enough for him. It's like white fang. White fang him. Yeah, yeah you white fang him. So he white fangs her. And runs off. And, um... She finds out. But... So she's, like, mad at her dad on prom night, right? And... But in the end, his mom talks to him. Talks to Jesse. Yeah. And it's like, you know what? You gotta let the shit go, man. You gotta let it go. And you need to look at what she thinks of you. And what we think of you. And have it, you know, try to marry it with what you think of yourself here. You know? You know you're a good kid. You know you're a good person. So fuck what the dad thinks. It's basically what happens. So then... When she thinks she's still alone at the prom. And the fountain's not working. All of a sudden the fountain starts working again. And there he is in a tuxedo. 
And she's like, I thought you didn't like tuxedos. It's too conformist to be like, I rock this shit, bitch. Yeah. Except he doesn't say bitch because it's a Disney movie. Yeah. And then he kisses her on the dance floor while they're dancing, and that's the end of the movie. It is. And you know what? It was a good movie. Yeah. I mean, not good. It was just... What did you like most about the movie, Joe? My favorite was the two dorky kids. Gail Custis and his friend. Yeah. Yeah. And Lloyd. And Lloyd. And you know what? And Lloyd. And Rolo. You know what? It was just a fun movie. I liked a lot of it. I liked the whole, like, underdog kid that everybody thinks he's a bad trouble kid. And getting the girl and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. See, that's the appeal of it. I would love to see your reaction to kind of like a reversal of that with with the misunderstood girl getting the guy at the end. Is there a movie like that? Yes, there is. What's it called? There's, there's a couple. Um, one would be She's All That. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. You've watched that? Yeah. Cool. Um, another would be A Cinderella Story has Hilary Duff. Oh, God. I don't, I don't even know if I want to watch that. That sounds terrible. Yep. So, guys, that's another one. We're going to we're gonna add that to the list of possible movies to watch. Hilary Duff. <laughs> yes. Hilary Duff. And, oh, God, what is his name? He was from that one show. I think he was on One Tree Hill. God, what was his name? I forget right now. Um, speaking of MILFs, the, the, the woman that, that played, uh, Stifler's mom is in it. Um, oh gosh, who else? Anyway, we'll yeah. find it. We'll find it. It's a Cinderella story. It's probably on, is it a Disney movie? It might be on Disney. It might be on Disney. It might be. I don't know. But anyways. Okay, guys, that's, so, so Joe liked prom. Not as much as Dirty Dancing, though. Definitely not. Dirty Dancing was, like, a legit movie. Yeah. Um, so not as much as Dirty Dancing, but he did like it. And he, he was very surprised, it seems. I was. Yeah. So, I think... Joe has a couple ideas of what he's going to make me watch. Yeah. But we will wait and we will announce it next week when we do the show. So to keep a little suspense in there. Because uh, I'm going to I'm gonna pick another movie for him and he's going to pick another for, movie for me. We're probably not going to give this much of a, a detailed plot over overture since we're going to be talking about two movies. So, but... We will definitely give our reviews. Yep. And so that's it for us. Um, check out my Sunday show. Um, for uh, I'm be doing my weekly comic review, spoiler test, a comic review. Talk about other things that's come up, maybe in news or or media for pop culture. Um, and I usually do it live. I try to be on Sunday mornings between nine and ten o'clock. So brew your coffee, drink your coffee with me, and watch me live here on YouTube for the officially unofficial geek spoiler tastic weekly roundup. Um, so I am currently reading Tank Girl, book one, the colorized version, um, from 1988 to 1990. That's going to be fun to talk about when I'm done reading it. Uh, I've got a few other things cooking as well um we're going to be starting probably next month a uh 30 to make a whovian um that's doctor who um 30 to make a whovian series of shows so i'm going to be talking about 30 different episodes and arcs um of doctor who uh that i think are pretty freaking killer episodes and or arcs of Doctor Who and um, might have some surprises um, involving that so stay tuned guys so if you've never watched Doctor Who before and you've been wondering man it just seems so daunting to get into Doctor Who you might want to check out some of these episodes and and um, check out my show when it comes out so anyways guys this has been great I've had a great uh, show. 
I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy us talking about Disney movie prom. Watch it. Um, Joe gives it a, a, a at least one thumb up. It's on Disney Plus. It is on Disney they Plus. Tell you that. Disney Plus. Hashtag not a sponsor, but with how much freaking Star Wars we watch. Come on, not, Disney. Not much lately. Not much lately. It's not been more Star Trek. So Paramount. Paramount Plus. Yeah, pay me, bro. I've been he's, watching he's Star been Trek watching like a so much Star Trek. I have been watching so much Star Trek. Not nearly as much as him, but from, you know, just proximity. Um, being in the room, it happens. Speaking of, I'm gonna watch Star Trek next. You're gonna watch Star Trek when we're done? Yeah. He is in the last season, guys, of DS9. Deep Space the best Nine. Star Trek. The last season. What are you gonna watch after this? I have decided that it is probably going to be Enterprise. You're going to rewatch Enterprise? Yes. Okay, I'll probably watch some of that with you because I've never watched Enterprise, actually. But, um, yeah. So that's the Scott Bakula one, right? Yep. Cool, cool, cool. I heard he has a beagle in that. You do. Doesn't he name it D'Artagnan? Yep. Yeah, I heard that. I knew that. I knew that. But anyways, guys, we will see you soon. And, uh... Like, subscribe, comment, let us know if you've watched Prom and what you think of it. And maybe give us some suggestions. Maybe Cho should have me watch something or maybe I should make Joe watch something. Right now I'm leaning towards Pretty Woman. Maybe a Cinderella story. I'll let you guys know. I think he's leaning towards, I, uh, I, I don't know, maybe a, a slasher horror movie um, that I don't like that I haven't seen. Or, I, I don't really like really gruesome horror movies, so I think he's got that idea. Mm -hmm. um, and also, some really rough sword and sorcery stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's also a possibility as well. So, stay tuned, we're here. Beastmaster. Beastmaster. God damn, that is a good movie. Ugh. Got Rick Torn in it. That, that or you might hear me talking about Fast and the Furious, either way. Either way. Either way. But anyways, guys, that's it for this week. Have a great week. We'll be seeing you. I'll see you and Sunday. He's shaving that mustache. He's he, shaving that mustache, he says. Even if you don't have facial hair, just color it in. Draw that fucker in because, you know, life is short. Have a mustache. Have a mustache. <laughs> All right, guys, be seeing ya. Bye.